Hi, and welcome to Woody's Modelling Diary, that's WMD. Uh, we're here today at the Roxby Rail Museum, one of the haunts which I frequent as a volunteer. This fair member's open day today. By the looks of the car park, there's quite a few people here. Somebody's even come in a tractor. Let's go and have a look what's going on. Well, just like last year, it's uh, raining, but we've got a steam engine going and brake band rides. We're here in the main exhibition shed. Um, we've got a lovely uh, 060 shunter there, nice diesel, which was recently done up. Um, most of the exhibits of the museum are in here. Some are running, most of them are in need of work, some are a little bit more than others. Um, and just here, We've got Singapore, which was a locomotive which was actually uh, captured by the Japanese when they invaded Singapore and it was used uh, on, I think, part of the uh, Burmese uh, rail track. Uh, and it's now a registered war memorial, uh, quite pertinent to me because my uncle was a prisoner of war in Changi Jail. So this does have some meaning to me. It's a beautiful little loco and it does have, you can see there, that's where some Japanese bullet holes are in the cylinder cover. If you've ever seen or owned one of the Hornby 040 Sentinels, uh, this is what it's based on. We've got three of them at the museum. Uh, we've got Jean, Betty and Graham. Uh, this one's Jean. Uh, we'll go and have a look up in the cab. Well, this is the inside of the cab of the Sentinel. <coughs> That's the uh, main sort of dashboard or control panel, I think would probably be the more technical name for it. Uh, the controls are duplicated on both sides. You've got a brake there, an accelerator and a reversing forward gear. You've also got this rather large handbrake, which makes sense. And that's the view across the rear of the loco. I think that's where the fuel tank is. And then underneath that rather long bonnet is the Rolls-Royce engine which powers this machine. Uh, and it's quite a Quite a hefty beast. This is Stanford, uh, I think an 060 shunter. Some of these locos are better conditioned than others. Um, but the big thing about this shed is they're under cover. It's got an insulated roof so the corrosion is kept at bay. Which at least means that whatever is here now is probably going to be here in another five years when somebody gets around to actually renovating it. Small 040 Uppingham. It's the sole survivor of this particular class of uh, packet. Again, quite a bit of corrosion, um, but somebody's got the time and the skills I could certainly do something with a locomotive like this and again we've got a Ruston and Hornsby diesel <coughs> which again is a savable locomotive and the beauty of being a volunteer in a museum like this is that you get to see all these things up close. The 
things which you uh, never see on the main line preserved railways because you're not allowed to get this close to stuff. This is a locomotive called Eric Tonks, which is in good condition. We're here in the uh, repair workshops, well, like any workshop. We've got most of the stuff which you don't really see lying about. Lots of rust, lots of tools, lots of parts, lots of bits. This is Elizabeth, a little 040 shunter undergoing restoration. Not too far off actually going back on the track, which we're hoping to do sometime this year. Just requires its body and uh, cab being put on. For a lot of people to see this, it's like stepping back in time. There's also this uh, drag line excavator, which has been parked up for the winter. But during the quarry days, uh, that's operational. And then there's the cab to Sundew, which was at the time, the world's largest walking dragline excavator, until I believe the Americans built something bigger. And the cab is the last remaining main part of the excavator. There is a bucket to it somewhere in Northamptonshire. And then across the way, behind those wagons, we've got a face excavator which again on our quarry days operates and uh, we have pretend sessions filling those wagons so they can be shunted about.
Well, that's the end of the line. <laughs> Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> and this is going on YouTube. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, look at that. I think I found that. Gail? Yo. I need to have a word with you about somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Now. Well done. Well, that's the 2023 Members' Day over with. It uh, actually ends with a little bit of sunshine up there. So until uh, next year, uh, that will be the next Members' Day. We'll have to see whether it rains again. Uh, we we'll wait for the main opening at Easter. And if you want to come along and see what's going on at the museum, have a look at the Facebook page or the website for the museum both searchable through uh, one of your favourite search engines by just putting rocks by rail in. Uh, so, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again. Take care. Bye.